Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've uh, completed all my bits and pieces now uh, for my Easter wreaths. If you remember, these were from Craft Buddy Crystal Art and I actually got them last year, but um, they were from Create and Craft TV when um, Craft Buddy Crystal Art were actually selling on there. And uh, this year they did have the same offer on it as well. And this is like a DIY Christmas wreath. Christmas? Christmas? It's Easter, Liz. It's a bunny rabbit and a chick. It's Easter. <laughs> I've got Christmas on the brain. Ah! <laughs> so, yeah, they did have this on special offer. And what you got was three sheets of um, coloured in characters with all the little circles on them to put your gems on. And then you got your set of gems to put your colours on. So what you needed was the, um, well, I used the magic glue. Yeah, craft buddy magic glue. Um, yeah, and it basically turns anything from card, canvas, whatever, into like a poured glue canvas. Um, so it stays tacky. It doesn't dry. So, you know, you, you can then put your gems on. Um, so I've gone ahead. Put the magic glue on. I don't think I filmed it or if I did, I've lost the video. Something like that anyway. You know what I'm like. I'm no, no organisation whatsoever. Uh, so I went ahead and did the three sheets and, and then put all the gems on. All the uh, little, they were actually resin uh, acrylic gems that come from Oh, the printer's talking to me again. Uh, resin acrylic gems that uh, come in craft buddy kits. There wasn't enough gems. That's one of my bugbears. Um, I know it's sort of a DIY kit and you don't have to do the colours that they give you. But on the whole, they are, um, they were actually coloured so that you could see this was the lemon. And as you can see, the colour underneath that they've actually coloured it in is the same as the gem colour. And then this has got the three colours on. But when it came to these flowers, uh, there is actually three of these, sorry, four of these on the sheets. Okay. And when it came to doing these, um, I only had enough of this colour to do one flower, which is quite a lot to have missing. Now, fortunately, because, as you know, I keep all my spurs, I did have then enough in my spares to go ahead and complete the other three. Um, a couple of the other colours did run out as well. I have sort of mixed and matched them a little bit. So some of the flowers were supposed to be like this colour, but I've actually used up the little pale pink ones because I had pale pink left. And what was the other one that I did? I know some of the eggs I've had to do different colours. Was it this one? Yeah, this one. Um, I, I yeeked out enough of this colour, this like beige stony colour, um, to do the flowers. Uh, I'd already done this egg when I realised then I was going to run out of the colour because it is in the middle of all of the flowers, um, all of the like, little poses. So I actually then used up the pale lemon colour that I had left. And actually, I think I quite prefer the lemon um, to this colour. I think the lemon and purple go a lot better together. And was it one of the colours? I know there was another colour as well. So there wasn't a huge amount of gems with this. And I don't think if you're going to give us a kit um, and all the other kits that you get, they do say on the TV when they're actually demonstrating, you get 10% more gems than you needed. Um, well, yeah, I certainly didn't on this one. Let's put it that way. So, <laughs> let's say there was another colour that I had to uh, eke out. I know I did. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, those flowers, these flowers were all supposed to be this colour. And I ended up using up the purple gems and made them all into little purple flowers. Um, yeah, I think I got two out of what was left. And I think that egg, that egg was supposed to be a different colour, but I can't remember now. So apologies I didn't do it on camera. Um, after I'd actually diamond painted them all, I then went ahead and sealed them with my Craft Buddy sealer. Um, so yeah, I did use the Crystal Art sealer. And even though these pieces are cardboard, then they are still very bendable. So to put them onto the reeds, they're going to be a little bit pliable so you can bend them a little bit to make them a little bit more 3D. Uh, yeah, I just uh, I, I was interested actually to see how it would come out um, on the cardboard and it has come out really, really well. And it did flatten down as well because when you sort of add in moisture to card, 
um, it does tend to sort of spring up a little bit. Well, in this case, it didn't. It did flatten down. So, you know, that was good as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's just a case now of putting these all onto these two rings. Now, I was going to colour in these uh, cardboard rings. These are what came with it. I've got one that's probably going to be a coaster or something. I'll see what I decide to do with that. But I'm going to have a go at doing these two rings or wreaths as they are. So I was going to colour them in. But then I decided, now I'm going to try and cover the whole thing so you can't see any of the underneath anyway, because there is quite a few bits and pieces here. So we'll have a go and see what we can do um, and see where we are and see if we can get the two done. So I'll leave the little ones till last. So what do we want on it? Well, we definitely need a chicken and a bunny, don't we? So we'll start off with the chicken and a bunny and they'll probably uh, let me move these bits around. Uh, yeah, apologies. As I said, I've done the cutting out as well. I did think about doing a show, you know, having a chat while I was cutting everything out, and then I thought, oh, that could get really boring as well. So yeah, just watching me cut out. Uh, so yeah, I decided to just do it this way for now. So it's sort of like Blue Peter style. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> okay, so. That's flowers. Try and keep like with sizes with like. I've separated them all out into what they are. So we've got three of the big blue poses, and I say four of these. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, lots of daffodils. Um, I've actually gone against what I always say as well for cutting things out, because I usually don't like leaving edges. But because these are like edged in black and then they have the bleed um, of the colour over, I decided with flowers it didn't really matter because it is still the same colour but you're still getting the outline of the flower. But with the bunny and the chick, I have cut them exactly to the black line because I tried cutting it um, just around the edges. This actually is like an extra part to this. So I haven't cut that bit out because that is an extra part to the wing because there was then... Um, another like line on the chicks um, showing there was like another line on the chicks with another um, part of the wing which I've cut that bit off but just left the little bits on I've even cut like round the little bits in his hair look or on top of his head his little top knot and on his legs as well so you can once it's sealed they've stayed on look while I've cut all of these out there's been no problem at all that has uh, really sort of like set solidly Okay, right. Let me just see where I am. I want space and I want you to be able to see what I'm doing as well, otherwise it's pointless filming it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right, um, I suggest sealing it um, before you cut it out and I've left it over 24 hours to dry as well. But also it does keep the gems on. I think if you're just cutting it out or having just used the magic glue, it is actually still sticky. So the edges were still sticky where any of the magic glue had gone over the edges. So yeah, it's it's personal choice, but this is the way I do it at the moment. So because we've got four of these flowers, let's have a little bit of a play and see where we fancy. So shall we have one up there? Oh, I'm going to have to move again, look. Just talk amongst yourselves while I just try and get myself organised. <laughs> what is it they say? Fail to plan and you plan to fail. Yeah, something like that anyway. <laughs> um, right, so shall we have another one sort of up here and we'll put it a little bit of a different way around. Let's have the flower sort of there so the leaves are coming over. As I say, these are lovely and pliable. Okay, and I'm going to use my uh, 3D glue gel as well, my pin flare. Show it the right way around. Um, it's a silicon glue or it's a silicon base glue, but it doesn't have the smell and everything of silicon. It's like a proper one developed for crafters, for paper card, uh, uh, paper crafters, paper card makers. You know what I mean. <laughs> So that one's slightly there. So shall we do it into three? And we'll have this one down here somewhere. Okay. So we'll have bunny over here. 
and chick over here now i want some blue flowers on as well so let's keep a blue and um, a, um a, a blue and a purple over there so let's just use two so then we've got five on because we've got three of those and then we've got two of these so let's have a look at this one so that could go up there so these are all sort of nearly touching and then let's have this one down here okay and then we're just gonna fill in with some extra bits yeah i think that's quite pretty so then we've got all daffodils and eggs and things to put in so how many daffodils have we got one i think these are all identical as well i don't think i think they all go the same way i'll just double check i think i did look um one two three oops is that a different one four no they're all the same five uh, six seven eight nine ten okay so yeah they're all identical um, what craft buddy are doing with these is they actually sell the uh, clear acrylic stamps um, so that you can make your own projects like this. But what they were finding was some people actually, although they do like um, making up things and using up their spare crystals, the spare gems, then they don't like the rubber stamping part of it or the acrylic stamping part of it, sorry. They're not the rubber stamps, they're the acrylic stamps. And uh, they don't want to be colouring in. And you do really need to colour it in before you then put your gems on. Otherwise, because these are all round gems, you get your uh, underneath colour. Shows through, I think you can see there, look. You know, because rounds literally don't just slot together, there's always going to be gaps in them. Then, uh, yeah, you do need the colour underneath. So that's why they've sort of done that. Right, so let's have a look. So what have we got? We don't need many daffodils. We seem to have an overkill of daffodils. So shall we have a daffodil down here? And we better have a daffodil there. Shall we have a couple of daffodils here? Just to, uh, they want to be sort of that way, don't they? Because the, the trumpets need to be sort of going the same ish way. In fact, I might actually put three there. Look, just go overboard, Liz. Have three daffodils there. And we can have one there. Like, will that go on top? No, we'll just have that one poking out. So my idea is to try and get this so that I don't have any of the brown cardboard showing and I'm doing it this way so that I can see where I want to put things um right I'm going to put a couple of the daffodils with that one as well I'm just thinking what I need um so if that sort of goes up there and then we can put a daffodil poking through there we've got a chick there and then I'm sort of covering all bases, really. Um, I could put a couple of daffodils down here. And then we just want some eggs. Okay, bunnies escaping there, look. So now it's just a case of filling in the gaps. So what I might do is put these big pieces on now, and then I can just slot all the little bits in between as I go along. I think that's going to be the best way. I mean, actually, I remember going to uh, one craft um, demonstration, a craft fair, I think it was. In fact, I think it was at the NEC at Birmingham. And uh, one of the ladies was making things like this. But rather than having to glue it and then for the next demonstration, <laughs> having to then have another whole set to do, particularly because the NEC is like over four days. So she would have had to go through an awful lot of them. She literally just had the pieces all on blue tack or like a sticky tack. So when the demonstration was finished, she just took them all off again and then could use them again the next time. So if you decide that you've done this and then you don't particularly like how you've done it, if you've used sticky tack, you can always take it all off and do it for something else. <laughs> but I do think this is very, very effective. So let me take Bunny and Chick off for now. Now then, the glue, um, because I'm not doing as much paper crafting as I used to, I always used to put the glue into my syringes because I found the syringes were the easiest thing to use. 
but as I say because I'm not doing that quite so much I am actually now using it from the actual uh, little tube and let's just get all that gunge from the top there and I've not got any cocktail sticks so I'm going to use these little eyebrow glue um, applicators they're great for if particularly this end I know it's got the like the little bit of fluffy stuff on it that you put on but uh, yeah you can use it just for putting on fine pieces but at the moment I'm probably just going to use this end uh, let me just get that bit off there as well hang on so I mean you could do this with them um, foam pads if you've got the foam pads I would suggest possibly a three millimeter on this because you want to try and get as much height as possible and um, with it being like flowers and if you use say a one or a two millimeter two millimeters always been my go-to but I think on a project like this because you're wanting to make more of a statement and wanting to make it look more 3d as I said I think I would go with probably yeah using a three millimeter just to get that extra height okay so so I don't want to cover over that hole, albeit I think I might put a couple of extra holes in it anyway, but uh, we'll see how we go. So silicon gel, I'm just going to put a few blobs on and I want them sort of in the middle. So I'm looking to go down that way there. So literally just squeeze a bit out, take it off and put it onto my project. Okay, so you don't need a lot. And as I say, right, uh, where's my lid? I like to use my lid as my little stand for that as well, so I don't get it all over my desk. And then this will just mould. And because you've got the like pliability of these, you can just mould it that little bit. So we're going to get that little bit of height there. I don't want to flatten it down completely because, as I say, I do want a little bit of height to just bring it up there. So now let's just do this next one. Give them a little bit of a bend. Okay, I'm just thinking, what's this got to do with diamond painting? But it is because it is a diamond painting project. So which way am I going? So I'm having those leaves going to the top there and I want those coming over there. So I'm coming down this way on this one. You can always just add a little bit more um, as you're going along if you want to. But to be honest, because it is cardboard, um, and it is card going on to card. You don't really need a huge amount of glue to make it stick. So it just needs to sort of catch it enough, but don't flatten it down too much. And then when you're wanting to slot something else on, look, you can just slot it underneath and that's where you get your extra bits. Okay. So this one, we're gonna, shall we go that way? Or shall we go that way? So we, I think we'll go that way so we've got a bit more green showing i think we want a bit more green okay in fact actually i might even put this up with command strips so i don't think i'm even going to bother with a chain or whatever it will just be a lot normal this one so i'm looking to go across this bit here okay it's a case because you're putting it onto um sort of a shape you don't want the glue everywhere because otherwise you're going to put it down and then find that um hang on where did I say I was going? I'm going across that way, aren't I? Yeah, there. Because otherwise you're going to be putting glue on here and it's just going to be hanging in the middle of nowhere and then you're going to get glue everywhere. So, And it's a waste of glue as well. Because it ain't cheap, this glue. Um, I'm not sure what the price of it is now. I know I used to sort of bulk buy it and I think I was paying about six or seven pound a tube. But it does last quite a long time and to me it is worth it so we don't want it quite sort of level we just want it at a little bit of a what do you call it a jaunty angle <laughs> <laughs> all right so it's a shame we've got three i wish we had a different color here but anyway we'll, we'll work with it we'll work with it but yeah quite so that one we're going to do like that yeah so we'll have the yeah so we're going across this way okay yeah, it's always better to plan doing this so the person that says she doesn't plan things and everything just comes together uh, she, she doesn't plan things is actually planning this now probably because i'm doing it on camera if i wasn't doing it on camera you'd probably find that i'd be um making a mess of this um just plunking it down and then picking it up and putting it back down again and it, i'd be just absolutely covered in glue but I don't want to do that on camera. <laughs> so that 
one can go there and then that just gives us enough to put a rabbit there okay right i mean it's up to you whether you actually stick things on top of other things um and put them let me just move that one i'm just going to move that one slightly just give bunny a little bit more room to stick yeah so it's up to you whether you put glue on the back of the rabbit there and actually stick it onto this one or whether you just keep them all completely separate which is what i think i'm going to do um and then if you do want to take them off at any time, you can take them off or cut them off or whatever you want to do. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put a huge blob there because this is where Bunny is going. Just make sure that's a big blob. Don't do it too big so that um, it comes over the edge and Bunny's not completely covering the glue. We just want it so that Bunny is basically sat on top of the glue, as it were. So let's have a look. Uh, we'll put him, he's covering quite a bit of that flower, isn't he? Shall we bring him a bit further down? We'll put him there. Yeah, we'll have him a bit, a bit of an angle, actually. He looks as though he's sliding down, doesn't he? Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit under his bottom so that he sticks there as well. So I'm not putting it on the... Uh, diamond painting I am just putting it next to sorry the flower diamond painting and we'll just give him a little bit of a bend once this is all dried and the silicon glue again I would probably leave 24 hours um, for it to dry then um, you can just go back and reshape things that aren't in the glue as you wish right so now we've just got this one to do so again just give it a little bit of a raised up feel so it just makes it look that bit more 3D and the silicon will dry raised up as long as you don't then put anything heavy on top of it and squish it. <laughs> okay, so a little chick is going down here. So shall we put little chick up there? I think we might put chick up there actually. Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll have little chick up there and uh, just have daffodils down here. Okay, so again, I'm just going to put the glue actually onto the, the okay do that there and then we'll just uh, so he looks like he's flying and his little legs are just in the air so i just need a little bit there as well so yeah i do like silicon glue because you do get that little bit of wiggle room that forgiveness whereas if you're using foam pads once it's down um it's down really so and i'm gonna leave his little legs dangling because i think you'll just get a little bit of extra movement with leggies dangling okay we've not got a leaf there have we so i might have to slot a little flower in there so yeah so he's up there and we've not put that one on yet have we so let's put this one on okay oops i do need to use quite a bit of this glue to be fair because i have got a lot of it still the side i used to build by it back in the day um i mean at one point i did actually have a thousand cards that i'd made in my craft room most of them then just got donated i did used to sell them i had a friend with a shop that used to sell them for me um but yeah uh yeah there was an awful lot <laughs> Right, so I'm going to put those daffodils sort of there at a little bit of a jaunty angle to cover that gap. So we want that one on first because it's at the back. So, And these um, glue gels, uh, if you buy like the set, you do get like these little corned beef keys that come with them as well. And once you've used them on these, they're great then to go ahead and use them uh, on your toothpaste. <laughs> That's if you can get anybody to actually use them on the toothpaste. You know what people are like. Right, give that a little bit of a... Should they be going that way? Do you think the daffodils are that way? No, I'm going to do it that way because I want them facing that way anyway. So I'm just going to slot that one under there and have it coming under there like that. And then I'm going to have this one there so 
I want the glue. I've got quite a big blob. Okay, and we're just going to... doesn't matter if it goes underneath that one. I'm trying not to put it on top of the gems, but I'm trying to get it so that I can sort of stick them and that will just weave there. Okay, and then shall we put a little flower in there? So let's put a little purple flower there just to uh, bring out that um just to bring out that yellow and then it just lifts it a little bit so i'll just add that one in there like that okay so that is all of that base bit covered there right so now then do we need some eggs right i wanted to put quite a few daffodils up here didn't i so i wanted three up here Ooh, got myself stuck yay girl is <laughs> and i might not put any there i might just have them down there um i don't want blue so i could do like these pinks here hmm okay so let me actually, i wonder if i put two and then put an egg What do we think to that? Or does it want to be a different colour egg? Now I do like the purple with the yellow, so I'm going to put these daffodils on first. It's a case of working out what goes to the back um, so that you're actually yeah, bringing everything forward and then you're not sort of having to take it up to stick underneath again. So we'll put that on there. I think the daffodils would look better going the other way, but anyway, I've done it this way now. And then just give it a little bit of a... See, I could put it down there and then I could put the egg up there. Oh, that would look quite nice. Yeah, I'll do it that way. Right. So we want the glue there. Okay. Just pop that there. Oops, we've left a gap. So... Just pull it across slightly that way. As I say, you do get that little bit of wiggle room. And then I'm going to put this egg in this gap here. Excellent. <laughs> right. So it's completely your project. You can do it however you wish. But yeah, we've got a little Easter egg sat up there. Look, with the daffodils. Okay. Right. So we've done that bit. We've got rabbit on there. So now we just need to put a little bit round, round rabbit, round rabbit. That's difficult to say. So shall we, do we want a daffodil? Could have a daffodil coming out there. Do we think a daffodil? Yeah, I think a daffodil there will look quite pretty. So we just want the glue on the ends. Okay. Oops, I didn't think this would take quite so long to do, but it is doing. So what did I say? I was sticking it in that way. So I'd... Oh. <laughs> I just want to spread that a little bit there. And that's why these are great. Really, really cheap if you click on Amazon or probably Timu do them as well. Um, they, I say they're just eyebrow glue applicators. And I think rather than my um, toothpicks, they're just that little bit. Uh, easy to i mean you can wash them and i maybe will wash it so that is now covering all of that okay right it's coming along nicely so do we now want a couple of eggs in here we'll put a blue one and a purple one oh yes okay so Right, here we go again. Just put some glue on there. Okay, I will probably have to wait till tomorrow to actually then film this so that you can see that um, it 
it's dried so we've got one egg there and then we've got one egg there okay and we could put no that might be a bit much all right so shall we give the chick no it doesn't look like that one shall we give him an egg no that's not looking right either hmm what shall we put behind the chick Shall we put him, oh, we'll put him a big blue egg, look. Yeah, we'll put the chick a big blue egg. So, because I can't get onto there, I'm going to just put a little bit on here. So we're putting it there. So it wants to go on that side. Okay. And we're just going to lift you up a little bit and put a little blue egg there. Right, and I think that is now all of that covered. So I may or may not come back and put some more on. So uh, now I've just got to try and pick it up. <laughs> right, let me get the big scissors out and just lift up underneath so that we're not disturbing it too much. Go over there and go over there. Okay, actually, I've quite enjoyed doing this. Um, it's just been something a little bit different. And I suppose if you're using up your spare gems, that's even better. It's a case of now not really touching this until um, it's all dried. So, oh, we've got a little bit showing there underneath Bunny's bottom. So, you can always go back and add something else. Shall I put a little pink flower? just under there yes so, uh, yeah you can always just go back and add in and just tweak as long as you've got your main bits on okay so i'm going to put that underneath bunny's bottom so he's sat on a little pink flower and he's just got a little pink flower there so right i think that's everything covered okay so let's have a look at the next one we're going to have some bits left over Oh, very strange. Right, so we've got the two bits that we had left over. So let's put one there, one there. Shall we put Bunny sat in amongst the flowers? Okay. And then little chick can be flying again. Whoops. Just got a little bit of paper stuck to him there. <laughs> um, we've got lots of eggs. So let's have a look. We can put eggs. And a little blue egg. Got lots of daffodils as well. So... The daffodils going the other way on this one. Daffodils, daffodils, daffodils. Shall we put the little chick? We better put the little chick here because I don't want him right next to the yellow daffodils. We want him moving a little bit there, don't we? Okay, and then we've got the big egg there we've got a couple of daffodils left over okay well if you've got bits left over that's fine all right so let's do a little posy of flowers over here so got a little posy there we've got another egg there or shall i do the two flower eggs no, because then that looks silly next to those. Okay. I'm just do the daffodils at the top. Um, let's see. I'm going to do the daffodils at the top over here. No, because I didn't want them next to the little bed, did I? Those there. And 
we'll put a little flower egg there. Okay, and then I could even put the little the little egg there. And then we can have another flower egg there. Just to tie that in. Um let's have a look, let's put the purple flower there. I don't know what I've touched, but I must have knocked against something with glue on because I'm now getting bits of glue stuck to me. Just keep tweaking. Okay. And then it's just a case of where you would put these little tiny ones, but I can't think these, I suppose. Can maybe put a little pink one. No. No, not keen on that. I just need something under this bed. I can maybe put the little tiny ones under there. Okay, so let's get the big ones on first then. So we'll put these down here. Alright. So let's do this. Um, I hope he's got his friends over today. So I'm having a little bit of a, an extra day crafting today, which is good. Because I seem to have uh, run out of uh, days to put videos up. I could do to put more than one video up a day at the moment. I've got so many things that I've been doing. It's just been a bit crazy. It's all these Easter projects that I've been doing, I tell you. And uh, yeah, well, that's just moved slightly. That's it. So if you do want to um, colour your cardboard in, then it really wouldn't matter if there was any little bits showing. Uh, you wouldn't have to overlap them. You could just literally um, do them. Uh, just literally uh, have the green bits showing, you know, like here it really wouldn't matter. So I'll probably use um, a permanent marker green pen and uh, just go into that one. But, uh, yeah. So bunny, bunny, bunny. Let's put bunny there. So I'll put the glue all down his front. Oops. Just do it this way. Let me know. Have you got any of the craft buddy stamps? Have you had a go with them? So I've got a few, but I've not really used them. It's a case of having the time to get everything out to do them. Um, if you're a rubber stamper, then brilliant. You know, you probably use them a lot, but uh, I just don't seem to have the time. Oh. I wonder if I put him a little leg. Oh, it's a little bit big, isn't it? No, I'll think about that one. I might, oh, no, I think I will, though, because it, it brings it all together with the blue and yellow, so I am going to give the bunny an egg. So there you are. You've got an egg, little bunny. Okay. So just give that a little bit of a curve as well. So, yeah, he's got an egg. A definite Easter wreath this one isn't it <laughs> so right let's put these daffodils up here next so that's the bottom one so we need the glue on that one okay put a little bit of a bend and have it sticking up there do it that oh no that's don't like that way around Let's do it that way then. And then we want his friend coming around this way. I think actually there might be a little bit of glue coming out of the bottom of this tube. And that's where I'm getting glue from because it's sticking to my hands. So let's put that one. Shall we put that one underneath? No, I had it on top, didn't I? So let's just put that one there i mean it, to be fair if you do find that the glue has gone over the card um as long as it's not sticking to your desk or your table or whatever it will dry completely solid and you can either use um a craft knife or some scissors and just snip off any glue that's hanging over the edges so we just want that one just at the top bit uh, yeah 
just at the top bit there. So these are actually sticking to one another. So we've got a host of golden daffodils dancing in the breeze. Gosh, that's school days, that one. Did anybody else do that one at school, Wordsworth? I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on... Oh, I can't remember it now. I wonder lonely as a cloud. That floats on sky or vales and hills. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Gosh, yes, I had to learn that when I was at school. That's a long time ago as well. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah. We're just tying in with doing these little blue ones roundabout. So it's not sort of complete blue. Um, and then we'll just put that little purple flower there. Yep. So, yeah, that was uh, a difficult one to learn. And what they used to make us do was learn it. And then rather than having a whole class of like 30 kids, all then having to stand up and say the same poem, um, they used to get us to write it down so you had to remember it and then you had to write the whole poem down and then you got marked on your written poem oh, gosh that used to take some doing all right so i'm going to stick him there okay yeah those were the days Heck, it's a long time since i was at school i don't even know if they still do poetry at school we used to have to write poems so we'll have him there so that he's far enough away from the little lemon. And let's put these, shall we put that there? We'll put that one there. I'm changing it as I go along. It's just as I'm putting the glue on and fitting it all together, deciding where actually to put it. So that one there then we can fit that one under there yes okay it's like doing a jigsaw puzzle this isn't it but making it up as you go along and uh, don't forget it's yours so it's entirely up to you what you do with it and how you do it and because this one's smaller actually i think i quite like this one better okay we can put that one there oops shall i put it, the daffodil over it yes yeah, so we've got three eggs there now i've left myself a little gap there because i want the eggs sticking up a little bit so i need something there i've got another egg i suppose i could put that there but then we've got it in a square and i don't like that either i'd really want another daffodil there but i don't want the daffodil next to there so let's see shall we put the little pink flower in there Shall we put? I think we'll put the pink at that side because then it's uh, lifting the colour a little bit. They are a little bit muted, some of these colours, a little bit dull. So I'm going to put that little flower just there. It doesn't matter if there's not much of it showing. It's just covering up the part. And I know I could use one of these little flowers, couldn't I? Um, let's see. See, although I'd really like those in sort of sets of three, if I'm honest. Um, no, I don't want the blue one. So shall I put the pink in her? Because then that matches that and that looks silly. I've got the purpley one. Oh, I could put the purple one there because I've got the purple one there. So it looks like they're part of the same sort of um, flower. I was going to say batch then, but you know what I mean. So that wants to be under there, and really that egg wants to be on top, doesn't it? Because you'd put your eggs in your flowers. So let's just, oops, lift that one up and put that one there. No, I'm going to put that one back under there because I like it better like that. Okay. Right, so we've just got this little bit to do then. Gosh, this is turning into a longer video than I expected. I thought, oh, we'll just do a quick video. And I think I'll put these flowers here. Shall I put a blue one underneath as well? Might do. 
because I have got a little bit of space there. Unless I just move him down. Ah, oh, that's better. If I move him down slightly, then I can just put these two pink flowers there. Okay. Very good. Right. So that one, just lift him up slightly. I should have got my tweezers, if I'm honest, um, to be putting these pieces on. And then I wouldn't be getting quite so much glue on my hands. Um, it is one of those things that I do seem to just get that little bit sticked up when I do things like this. But then what's the point in being a crafter if you're not going to get messy from time to time? <laughs> okay, I wonder if I put... Do you know, I'm going to put a little pink flower on there as well. Or shall I put the purple one? Oh, I think the purple one will look better. Ooh, now then, do I think the purple one looks better or do I think the pink one looks better? I think the pink one looks better because it matches Bunny's ears. So I am just going to put a little bit there and put that on that egg there. So it just makes it a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, so I've got those there. Right, I've got quite a few bits left. So let me just have a look and see what we've got. Oops. Strangely enough, it seems to be more of the blue colours that I've got left over. Sorry, I'm just trying to use my scissors to uh, move this so that I've not, I'm not knocking it. And see, scissors have got uses for all sorts of things. While it all dries. So we've got three blue flowers left. We've got two daffodils left. We've got one egg left. We've got three blue flowers. Yeah, the blue is a bit more muted, isn't it? I'm uh, liking the oh, brighter coloured ones better. And then we've got all these little teeny tinies left. Okay. I do feel as though I want to use them because I've got so many of them. And uh, yeah, I hate waste, you know me. I like to use everything. <laughs> now then, I wonder, I wonder, shall I put a little purple flower on that egg there? And I could put a little pink flower or a little blue flower. Let's have a look. Oh, no, not blue. Pink. Purple, no, that doesn't crack either. Actually, that's the ready coloured one, isn't it? Let's have a look. No, and that just blends in too much. Mm, or do I leave them? Do we think I've gone far enough with it and I, I don't need to go anymore? I wonder if that one would just slot down there so that I'm using up. Yeah, I'm going to just slot that one in there. So I've got some daffodils left. I've used an awful lot of glue, it has to be said. Oh, I've got some glue there as well. That could be what I've done. I've put glue there. So I'll just put that there. Now then, I put that little pink flower on that one, didn't I? Shall I? No, that overwhelms it. That makes it look too much. could put that one on there. Oh... Oh, well, Joe, then that matches in with the flower next to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I quite like that. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, oh, dear. I've never been a very good at less is more um, kind of person. I tend to find that if I get kits and things, I like to use it all. Because I don't throw things away, I find that if I start, um, this is how I end up with a, an absolute hoard of stuff. Because... I'm put, keeping all the little bits. You know, if there's a kit and it's got stuff left over, I start keeping it all. And then I just end up with far too much stuff. Oh, look. Come here. Pick up. Put that one on there. Or 
shall I put it on there? Oh, that might be quite nice, putting that on there. Yeah, because I just don't know what I'm going to do with these bits if I don't uh, use them all now. I know I've got the little round thing, but I don't feel as though I've got enough to uh, put it all over the little round thing. This is the little round thing. <laughs> I'd have to put some more stickers or something, wouldn't I? Um, yeah, you see, I've used, quite, I suppose, you know, I could colour that in. But uh, yeah, so I think we're going to stop there with those little teeny tinies there. And all those. So, right, okay, let me put my lid back on my glue. That can... Uh, either be washed or thrown away right when you're using this glue when you're actually putting the lid back on it if you just squeeze it so that you can just see the glue just slightly coming up it's just domed over the top there it sort of makes an airtight seal because silicon dries as it starts to get air to the silicon dries as the air gets to it so if you make a proper seal on your um glue then these last i think did they say about eight weeks, maybe even three months? I know I've had this one open for quite a while. Um, in fact, that actually might have even been opened at Christmas. So where are we now? Uh, end of March. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's lasted quite a long time. So on the whole, I'm quite happy with them. I'm disappointed that I ran out of gems. And as I say, it wasn't just a few gems. It was a lot of gems. It was the three um, sort of like magenta coloured flowers I didn't have enough of. And then I didn't have enough of the um, fawny colour either. Uh, so, yeah, that was quite disappointing, albeit because I only paid half price for it. And I think it was only about £6.50 I paid for this kit, um, which I've now made two wreaths from. That's just slipped a little bit. Let me just slot that there. I really need to stand up above it and look above and make sure I haven't missed any bits. Um, and then we've still got a little coaster or whatever to do as well. But yeah, on the whole, I think for the money, it was brilliant. If I'd have paid £13, the jury's out. Albeit, I mean, this video is nearly an hour and I would say it probably took me two days. And I mean, I don't mean two 12 hour days i mean over two days to actually diamond paint all the things and then it took me probably about half an hour um to put the glue uh, to put the um magic glue on and then again i had to seal it so that's like another 20 minutes half an hour ish um and then i've cutting out has probably taken me again about half an hour 40 minutes so yeah there has been quite a bit to do i'm just thinking i wonder if i put Another daffodil at that side. I want a daffodil there. Oh dear, I've just packed everything away as well. <laughs> Stop looking, Liz. Stop looking. Oh dear. Are you like me? You do something and think, right, I've finished. And then you just go back and look and think, oh, I might just have to do that as well. So, yeah. Um, so I'm putting it in. Shall I put it going that way so I want the glue at this side here? Okay. All right. And we'll just put it a little bit lower down so it doesn't look like they're both in straight lines. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. Yeah, because I've got like the two there. No, stop it, Liz. Don't tweak any more. Otherwise, you'll be here all day. <laughs> OK, let me know what you think. Um, as I say, for £6.50, the value is excellent. For £13, I suppose it's OK. Um, but yeah, not bad. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. A little bit different. Putting two wreaths together. Didn't think it would take quite this long. Uh, if you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you know you're notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks for...
stopping by. See you all again soon. Bye for now.